Do you feel like this is something that's been brewing the past few weeks? You finally getting into the end zone? Yeah. Uh, kind of happy it was here in Lambeau instead of Miami, so it's not that bad. What did you see on the return other than a gigantic alley? What did I see on the return? Yeah. The, the kicker. Uh, them guys had great blocks for me. Uh, they opened it up. I felt like the open sea, I just ran through it. And I knew I just had one person to beat. And then once I passed the kicker, it's party time. How much did you feel you, you sparked the team with, uh, with that play? Uh, I feel like I always spark the guys. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they pump me up before every return. And then I always just got to reward them. I know they're going to block for me. They know I'm back there. So you got to reward my guys. Have you ever talked to Rich about why he hardly used you on kickoffs and, and with the Raiders? Sometimes it would be bigger than, you know what I'm saying, with coaches. It would be you never know what's going on with personnel and stuff like that. I just waited for my moment. It's my moment. You, you, did you go through a pregame workout, and how did you feel beforehand? Was, and was there any doubt that you'd play today? Uh, yeah, actually, like, we was, on Friday, we wrote us off. Like, yeah, if we can't run by Friday, it probably won't happen. And, uh. Text the coaches this morning, like, I feel like a Ferrari. He's like, huh? I said, I feel like a Ferrari. And came here, uh, just ran around, and I'm like, ready to go. So I'm playing. Did you know the Washington result? Did you guys pay attention to that at all? And did it? No, did it matter? They lost, so you guys control your fate, essentially. I didn't know if you no, scored more lost or anything. No, I was locked in on this game. I think you'll be healthy enough to do nickel stuff next week, or do you still expect to be heavier use limited? Um, I feel I feel fine. I mean, I only had two plays today, so uh, still like a rest day, honestly. Um, so I don't know. Whatever they have a game plan, if, it, if it's me, you know, I'll be ready to go. So what did you what did you do between the end of Friday and this morning to feel like a Ferrari? Nothing, literally. I just lay down. I didn't run yesterday. Uh, that just rest me. And I'm like, if you can go on Sunday, you can go. Woke up this morning, texting South like a Ferrari, and I played in the game. That like a Ferrari running the ball? You all right? Sure. Yeah. Um, the, you get introduced as the kickoff returner, and the crowd cheers behind you, which I don't think I've ever heard here in my 16 years, like the kick returner getting cheered. What, what does that feel like being cheered in that moment before you get the ball? Yeah, it, it, it like really, that helps me too. You know what I'm saying? Like, even when I'm running with the ball, like, I don't really be knowing if, like, somebody behind me to tackle me, but I can hear at, like, the, stand, the fans when I'm running, so they kind of turn me up. And uh, I hear them, and that turns me up. So, Keyshawn, was it totally up to you to go today, at least on kickoff returns? Like, did they leave it up to you, or did you have to convince the medical staff to let you drive as far? Um. They knew they weren't going to keep me out this game. You know what I'm saying? They just rest me. Word on the street is they had the best returner. So hopefully we settled that today. You were asked earlier about giving the team a spark. I mean, when you think about where the kickoff return comes, right? You guys get a punt blocked. The defense holds them to a field goal. I mean, could you feel that the game completely changed after you got to the end zone? Could you feel that on the sideline? Uh, I honestly, when I turned around and looked back, my whole teammates was in my face already. So I mean, that that gives me. But man, it's the blockers. I it's like all I could do, all I got to do is run straight. I didn't, literally didn't have to do nothing but make the kicker miss. I just ran straight, and guys blocked their ass off. You know what I'm saying? Just got to reward them. I mean, it looked like Dallin couldn't even find somebody to block when they showed the replay. Like it was. So I, I haven't even seen it yet. I just remember running. I don't really can't wait to see what it looked like. How did you guys keep it together? It's easy to say all the right things about, you know, we've got time, we just need to win one game, all that, but how did you guys keep it together when you guys were four and eight, five weeks ago? We just needed confidence, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we, had a lot, we had a lot of young guys on, on offense earlier in the year. Um, and at the end of the day, like with this football stuff, it, it don't matter if you 11 and, you know what I'm saying, if you 11 and four and you get in the playoffs, like, if you in, you in. It don't matter your record. You got to play ball after that. Everybody's 0-0 zero, zero once you get in. So we we hot at the right time, and it's time to play Detroit next week. LaFleur and Rodgers have talked very highly about you these past few weeks, and rightly so, um, especially with you kind of bringing that dog mentality to this team. How do you find that within yourself, and then how can you, how have you or how can you help kind of spread that to others on this team? 
Man, uh, I was down actually all week. You know what I'm saying? I probably thought I wasn't going to play. I was down. I wasn't really talkative. And the guys always told me, man, just pray on it and you'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? It was like, just see how I feel. If it's ready to go Sunday, we know you're going to play. We know it's like, you know what I'm saying? You want to play. So it's just praying about it and just resting. You know what I'm saying? I just needed a spark and I was a spark for us.